Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you this beautiful stitch on a mini pouch with a zipper. It measures 7 inches by 4.5 inches. If you like what you see, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you have not. Or you can always buy me a coffee to show your support. Link is in the description box. For this project, I use cotton yarn, a 4mm and a 5mm hole, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and a zipper. Alright, let's get started. I'm using two strings of yarn because the yarn I'm using is very thin. And a 5mm hook. May I snip knot, wrap the yarn around your finger like this. Bring the working yarn through the loop. Insert the hook. Make sure it's not too tight. May a chain of 28. Yarn over, pull through, one. Yarn over, Pull through two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Now we have twenty eight chains. On the second chain, one, two, this one, insert, yarn over. Pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. And place a stitch marker. On your next chain, place a single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And again on the next chain. That three. Four, five, and so on. So place a single crochet into every chain into the end. And I'll meet you at the end of the chain. At the end of the chain, on my last chain, place a single crochet. Then place a marker on the stitch. In the same stitch, place two more single crochet. So there's going to be three single crochet stitches into the last chain. Also use a stitch marker on the third stitch. From here, we're going to work our way back to the beginning to complete the round. On the next chain, place a single crochet. And place a single crochet into every chain. And I meet you at the end of the round, right here, back to the beginning. At the end of the round, on the last chain, place two single crochet. That's one. And place a marker on this stitch. And one more single crochet into the same chain. Now round one is complete, with a total of 56 stitches. To begin round two, slip stitch into the first stitch. And one chain. In the same stitch, place two single crochet. And remember to place the marker on the first stitch. And one more single crochet into the same stitch. 
and then from here single crochet into every stitch into the next marker and I meet you right here Add the marker here Place a single crochet And remember to place the marker onto this stitch And place one more single crochet into the same stitch So that's two Also two single crochet into the next stitch one, two. Also, two single crochet into the next stitch. One, and two. Place the marker onto the last stitch. And then from here, single crochet into every stitch into the next marker. And I meet you right here. I got to my last marker with two stitches left. So in the next two stitches, place two single crochet into each. That's one. And remember to place the marker back onto the first one. Two. And two single crochet into the next stitch. By the end of the round, there's a total of 62 stitches. Round 3 is the repeat of round 2. First, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place two single crochet. One. And place a marker on this stitch. Then one more single crochet into the same stitch. Two. In the next stitch, also two single crochet. One, two. From here, on every stitch, place one single crochet into the next marker. And I meet you right here. On the marker here, there are six stitches in between the white markers. Place two single crochet into each. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. On the last stitch, 11, 12. From here, place one single crochet into every stitch. And I meet you on the next marker. We made it to the end of the round. There are four stitches left. Place two single crochet into the last four stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The total number of stitches for this round is 74. From here, round 4 and round 5 are the same. So to begin the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Place a single crochet into the same stitch. 
Then place a single crochet into every stitch all around. By the end of the round, there's still going to be 74 stitches. And I meet you at the end of round 5. At the end of round 5, after my last stitch, cut yarn. And join the round with a yarn needle. Insert into the first stitch. Then insert into the top of the previous stitch. Now fasten the tail. Part 1 is now complete with the base. To begin part 2, I switch to a smaller size hook and using one string of yarn because I want the body and the base to have the same thickness. So insert the yarn at any stitch, but I like to keep it on the side here. Tie a knot. Then one chain to begin. On the next stitch, place a single crochet. And I normally like to carry the tails with me. Remember to place a marker on your first stitch to make things easier. Now on your next stitch, two rows down from your next stitch, that's this one here, insert, yarn over, pull through, and make sure Pull it to the same height as your first stitch. Then finish it with a single crochet. On your next stitch, place a normal single crochet. Then a long single crochet. That's two rows down to this one. Then single crochet into the next stitch. And place a long single crochet into the next stitch. And repeat all around. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, I just did a normal single crochet. Next stitch is a long single crochet. And here is where I'm going to insert my hook. And to begin round two, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain and turn. From here, we're going to connect this loop and also this loop together. Finish it with a single crochet. Then place a marker back onto the first stitch. On your next stitch, single crochet. And again, connect this loop and this loop together to form an upside down V. Then single crochet. And again, connect this loop and this loop together to form an upside down V. I don't know the name of this stitch, but I'm just going to call it upside down V. And this is the repeat. Upside down V, single crochet, upside down V, single crochet, all around. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, upside down V, 
then single crochet. And to begin the next round, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain and turn. Single crochet into the next stitch. And place a marker on this stitch. Then a long single crochet stitch. And when you insert, make sure your hole is inserted in between the upside down V on the other side. Like this. Then single crochet into the next stitch. Long single crochet into the next stitch. Make sure to check when you're doing this stitch. And this is the repeat for this round. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, the last stitch is a long single crochet stitch. And to begin the next round, slip stitch, one chain, and turn. This is a repeat around two. Connect the two loops to form an upside down V. And remember to place your marker back onto your first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Upside down V. Single crochet. Alternate round 3 and round 4 for as many times as you like. I stop about 3.5 inches. On my last round on my honeycomb stitch. Form an upside down V. Single crochet. Then slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. From here, I did not turn. I continued to work in the same direction by placing a single crochet into every stitch all around. I did two rounds of single crochet. And I meet you at the end of the two rounds of single crochet. After two rounds of single crochet, cut yarn and fasten the tail. The final step is adding a zipper. I place the markers on each end to guide me when stitching the zipper to the pouch. 
I stitch the zipper to the last round of the honeycomb stitch right under here. All right, that's all for today. I hope you like this project and this new stitch. Please don't forget to comment below to let me know. Also, smash the like button for me and subscribe to my channel for more creative ideas. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.